we understand this message, even the thought of remember where you come from is going to change. Some of you, when, when you look at what God has done for you, you look back from where you began from in that poor shack, in that little house when everybody was poor and things were not working out right. And then you start crying and say, the Lord has brought me from far. You who? I remember how poor I was. I remember those days I lacked food. I remember those days I didn't have clothes. I remember those days I didn't have nothing. You who? The man of the flesh or the man of the spirit? The man of the spirit, the born again man didn't begin from there. In fact, we, we have to get to a point of crying because we remember how much wealth is with us. Somebody shout hallelujah. Those, those, those pains of, 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 of past uh, uh, losses and, and, and past troubles. Oh, I came from a poor family. The, oh, when you become born again, you become a new creation. Behold, the old is past and now the new. And all things are become of God. He has connected you to his life. He has owned you and possessed you by his name. He's saying never, ever, ever think of where you come from. And then you think of your village. And then you think of that little house. No. No, 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 no. Begin from where your salvation story is. When you look from where you're coming from, the real vision, you will feel like you need to do more here. 